That's that's a uh, pretty outrageous. Uh, I would well, I, I would expect that local journalists. Uh, in this particular part of the country would be interested in this. Well, that leads to two questions. First, uh, why is it so concentrated around uh, Mount Shasta, or is it? And secondly, uh, are you getting any traction in the local press? Well, we actually have. I've written some articles that that have gone uh, worldwide. So they've done very well because we broke the story on aluminum. And let me tell you why. Uh, why this story has been very quiet. When we were in the meeting um, talking about this issue, the the scientists were, again, talking about what they were going to uh, put into these programs. They were talking about dumping 10 to 20 million megatons of aluminum barium strontium into the sky. So one of the guys who was in there reporting, he said, well... Have you done any research on aluminum? And David Keith, who is the, I believe, the number three geoengineering scientist in the world, uh, is heavily funded by Bill Gates and uh, also has a lot of shares and stake in the geoengineering companies that are going to profit a ton from this. But David Keith said, you know what? Uh, we've studied um, these, and we really haven't found too many problems with sulfur dioxide. And the person who asked the question, he said, wait a minute, uh, we're finding a ton of aluminum at alarming rates. I didn't ask about sulfur dioxide. I asked about aluminum. And David Keith looked, and we have this uh, We have this on YouTube, on geoengineeringwatch.org. David Keith said, well, we haven't done much with aluminum, so we might find something terrible tomorrow that we're not currently aware of. So, you know, the whole story and what I have been writing about it, this has been very quiet. The scientists are denying that it's going on. Government officials are denying that it's going on. But what we're finding on the ground match the exact patents. They match the exact program of what the scientists are considering doing. So, and uh, what, what kind of planes is this all coming from? Uh, uh, because one would think that it would be possible to track the air traffic and match it up with these chemtrails and with the uh, toxic fallout on the ground and figure out precisely which planes are doing it. Ab- absolutely. You have to realize this is a worldwide program. It's a multi-billion dollar program. So... Uh, I actually had somebody call me yesterday who tried to contact uh, the company that controls the airspace over over the Los Angeles area. And one can only assume, and what he had told me is that this is actually in military airspace. So it's not managed, from my understanding, uh, by the people who would control normal airspace. So, uh, you know, we definitely have military involvement and corporate involvement. So I don't... Um, you know, I know it's about to come out, but we just don't have that information yet. And, and uh, another related question would be, if this is part of a planet-wide geoengineering project, uh, why would these substances be so concentrated in particular local areas like the top of Mount Shasta? Well, you know, it's not concentrated in any local area. People are finding results like this worldwide. Again, this is a worldwide program. Uh, and it's found a little more heavily in NATO countries. But I'm going to urge people today to go out and do your own testing, and that's one of the things that we do urge. Look up in the sky. If you see or if you think that they're spraying, go ahead and do soil tests. Uh, you can go on geoengineering watch, get your own soil test. So this is not concentrated in any area, and I think once people wake up to what's going on, then they'll be aware. And I want to point out... Uh, I became aware of this about two years ago. I lived in Phoenix, Arizona for a number of years, and when I initially moved there, the skies were a deep purple, almost, you know, very deep blue. I moved away for a couple of years, and when I came back, I noticed that the skies had changed, and I just couldn't connect the dots. I didn't know why the sky had changed, but I saw, you know, light haze in the sky, and I thought it might have been because a lot of people moved there, and there were, were more cars. Well, a couple of years after I noticed that, somebody had pointed out the trails in the sky, and they said, you know what, airplanes are spraying chemicals into the sky. Initially, like most people, I thought they were completely crazy. 
I said, yeah, right. Airplanes are, are spraying things into the sky. But I did go back and I started researching it and uh, under the word chemtrails. And then I started noticing the, the plane spraying. And, uh, you know, sure enough, this is uh, it's a program. It's been deployed, uh, and it's going on. And, and we get, you know, it's not like this is just happening uh, one or two days a week. Uh, here in L.A., we get heavy spraying about five days a week. So, uh, but, you know, if people aren't recognizing this yet, that's normal because they started the programs probably, let me say, around 1997. And I first noticed about probably two years ago. So a number of years went by uh, without me connecting the dots. But I'm sure if uh, the listeners research, uh, they too will, will begin to, uh, to realize what's happening. Well, you know, I, I would suspect that if people do go out and do testing, I, I would be pretty shocked if every place they test is testing at 100 times the toxic level for aluminum. Like, I, that would be an awful lot of aluminum uh, to be dumped everywhere in, in the atmosphere. Is uh, So I guess people, you know, are, are doing these tests around the country. What, what kind of results are they getting? You know, we're seeing about the same thing. Uh, typically... Okay. Soil has been about, and we'll go back, right now we're seeing an enorm, enormous amount of the aluminum, and hundreds of times is incorrect. We're seeing thousands of times the normal amounts of aluminum. So, uh, and, and people are finding the same results. Now, I do know that in the Mount Shasta area, they had about five or six days where uh, no spraying was reported. So France did go out. And he did test the rainwater. Ironically enough, they saw a fall within the pH, and it became more acidic. However, this week, we saw an escalation of the trails in the sky. Again, he tested. Well, that sounds like a, uh, we're getting towards a scientifically established correlation between uh, aluminum and barium uh, in the water and on the ground and visible signs of chemtrails in the sky. We'll be back for more on this topic in just a moment.